Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to Commander Review, and today is the beginning and yet also almost the end of the Plane Shift Commander Review. We're going to review the three legendaries that are in this set that you can play with as your commander. And today we're starting with Urtai the Corrupted. Urtai the Corrupted is a legendary... I want to say, uh, I forgot to pull up the errata text. But I want to say he's a Phyrexian wizard. Plain shift. Yes. Urtai is a Phyrexian human wizard. He is a 3-4, and he costs 2 generic mana and Esper, which is white, blue, black. He has one activated, abil activated ability, which is a blue tap. Sacrifice a creature or enchantment. And then the ability is counter target spell <laughs> very cool very powerful you have a counter ability in the command zone which is very fun it does come at a price though but that price is easily paid for in this game and this is a very powerful card there are no card rulings for urtai it's just a counter spell commander hatching plans was uh one of many cards but this is the one i picked to synergize with Urtai because you want to sacrifice this enchantment so you can draw more cards so then you can play more cards to sacrifice them to counter more things which is very cool. The deck that I am putting Urtai in is actually a venture into the dungeon deck? Oh yes that's right because we are sacrifice one of the things we can sacrifice is creatures. Um, I have a dungeon delving deck uh, based on the Esper precon that came out for one of the Dungeons and Dragons crossovers. And so Urtai I thought would be a fun like counter spell effect in this deck because you want to sacrifice your creatures to explore the dungeon some more so then you can reanimate them so then you can explore some more later. Very fun, very cool, powerful graveyard shenanigans in this deck. And you're delving the dungeon which is really cool. Second, and this is the popular deck idea on EDH Rec, is of course enchantment uh, themed and you wanted to do like enchantment aristocrats. So Starfield of Nyx is actually fantastic in this deck because it's an enchantment that can reanimate your other enchantments into play. It also can be a win con for your deck by turning all of your enchantments into creatures that you can then either sacrifice to counter spells or deal a lot of damage to your opponents. And there are other ways of making artifacts and enchantments um, and doing some flicker effects in this deck. It's going to be very fun, very crazy, and lots of shenanigans. And then lastly, focusing more on the creatures of the uh, Magic the Gathering game, I thought it would be fun to do kind of an aristocrat build around for Urtai, but instead of having to forcefully have ways to reanimate your creatures, have creatures that just naturally come back, and then have creatures or other effects that naturally keep them coming back. So River Kelpie, Butcher Ghoul are cool cards because they have Persist, they come back from the graveyard with negative one, negative one counters, and then Vizier of Remedies actually prevents those negative one, negative one counters from going onto those creatures. Um, oh, Butcher Ghoul actually has Undying. I'll talk about that in a second. But Vizier of Remedies and River Kelpie are this kind of effect that I'm talking about. You can sacrifice River Kelpie or other creatures that have Persist, and then when they come back, Vizier of Remedies will prevent them from getting the plus one, the, the negative one, negative one counter, so then you can sacrifice them again and again and again, and they'll keep coming back. So you have reusable, recurrable counter fodder for your commander. And the opposite is true for Butcher Ghoul, which has Undying, it's the exact same mechanic. It'll come back from the graveyard when it dies, but instead of a negative one, negative one counter, it'll have a plus one, plus one counter. So in order to keep Butcher Ghoul coming back multiple times, you need to have a way to remove those plus one, plus one counters from Butcher Ghoul. And there are plenty of ways to do that in these colors. So I think this could be a fun, janky build around to just like play a counter control deck graveyard shenanigans, um, creature heavy, maybe kind of a control mid-range aggro deck 
for Urtai, which I think would be a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And that is going to do it for Urtai, the Corrupted, and uh, very cool, very controlling counter uh, commander, but it is going to put a target on your back because your opponents are not going to enjoy having their spells countered over and over and over again. With that said, Urtai is old enough, cheap enough, and has a powerful enough effect that people have built a lot of different decks around Urtai. And there are a lot of different ways to play around different creature types, different enchantment types, and of course you have a lot of cool creature enchantment permanent reanimation shenanigans in these colors. So very popular commander, which is why it has the S tier. So it's got nine or more decks built around it. Very powerful, very cool commander. But that's gonna do it for Urtai. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And uh, we'll be back with some more uh, plane shift cards in just a little bit. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.